we're given sine A equals negative two-fifths and cosine B equals one-third. With angle A and B both in the fourth quadrant or in the open interval from three pi over two to two pi, we want to determine sine of the quantity A plus B as well as cosine of the quantity A minus B. So we'll be applying the sum of difference identities provided here below. But before we apply these identities, notice how even though we're given sine A and cosine B, we also must determine cosine A and sine B. So we'll determine these missing trig function values using the reference triangles provided here on the right. Where to model angle A, we'll use alpha as the reference angle, and to model angle B, we'll use beta as the reference angle. And since we're given that sine A equals negative two-fifths, and we know sine theta is equal to y over r, where sine theta is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse, where r, the hypotenuse, is always positive, we would label the opposite side at negative two, and the hypotenuse, or r, positive five. And now we can find x, or this adjacent side, using the Pythagorean theorem where x squared plus y squared, or negative two squared, equals r squared, or five squared. So we'd have x squared plus four equals 25. Subtracting four on both sides, we have x squared equals 21. Solving for x, we would take the square root of both sides. So we have x equals plus or minus the square root of 21 but we know we're in the fourth quadrant where x is positive, so we'll label the adjacent side positive square root 21, which means now we know cosine A is equal to x over r, or the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, which is square root 21 divided by five. And now we'll construct the reference triangle for angle B. And we know that cosine B equals one-third and cosine theta is equal to x divided by r, or the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse. So we would label this leg of the reference triangle one, and r, the hypotenuse, three. So to find the length of the opposite side, or y, again we'll use the Pythagorean theorem, or x squared, or one squared, plus y squared, equals r squared, or three squared. So we have one plus y squared equals nine. Subtracting one on both sides, we have y squared equals eight. Taking the square root of both sides, we have y equals plus or minus the square root of eight, but this does simplify since eight is equal to four times two, and the square root of four is two, we have y equals plus or minus two square root two. But again, because we're in the fourth quadrant where y is negative, y is equal to negative two square root two, which means sine b is equal to negative two square root two divided by three. Now we have all the trig function values that we need, and we can now apply the sum of difference identities. So sine of the quantity a plus b is equal to sine a times cosine b plus cosine a times sine b. So again we have sine a times cosine b plus cosine a times sine b. So subbing in the values, sine a is equal to negative two-fifths Cosine B is equal to positive one-third. Cosine A is equal to square root 21 divided by five. And sine B is equal to negative two square roots of two divided by three. Notice how we do have a common denominator of 15. The numerator would be, here we have negative two times one, that's negative two. Here we'll have plus and negative, or just minus, and then we'd have two square root of 21 times two is 42. And the square root of 42 does not simplify, since the prime factorization of 42 is two times three times seven. 
So this would be the exact value of sine of the quantity A plus B. Now let's look at the second part of this question. Notice that cosine of the quantity A minus B is going to be equal to cosine A times cosine B plus sine A times sine B. Notice how because we have a difference, we'll be using a sum when we apply the identity. So again, we have cosine A times cosine B plus sine A times sine B. So again, subbing in the trig function values, cosine A is equal to the square root of 21 divided by five. Cosine B is equal to one third. Sine A is equal to negative two fifths. And sine B is equal to negative two square root two divided by three. Once again, notice how we do have a common denominator of 15. Here we have square root 21 times one, of course that's square root 21, plus negative two times negative two square root two would be positive four square root two. So this would be the exact value of cosine of the quantity A minus B. I hope you found this helpful.